Hi, in this video I'm going to give you a quick tour around RStudio, which is the software that we will be using for almost all of our work in this course. This is roughly what it should look like, although there might be some variations, for example, between uh, Windows and Mac. You can see here that there are three uh, panels, this large panel over on the left hand side and then two panels on the right hand side. But actually most of the time you're using RStudio there will be four panels and that's because this left hand one will split into two as soon as we open a file um, to start uh, working on. So that might be a file storing our, our code or um, a view of a, a data set. Uh, for example. So most of the time our studio will look like this. On the top left, um, this is where we see the code that we write, um, also previews of data sets uh, go in this space. Below that, in the bottom left panel, you've got uh, three uh, tabs. The, the most important is the console. We can type our code into this console and it will uh, print the results out to us. So if we want to do today's date, for example, we can type sys.date. But you shouldn't, in general, put our code directly into the console because the problem is that you won't then be able to get it back later. It's much uh, easier in the long run to type the code in the top left panel, so in a file where you can save it so that you've got it later, uh, and then run it using the run button um, in the, uh, the top center of the screen. We don't need to worry about the other two tabs um, in the in the bottom left panel. In the bottom right, the first one shows all the files in the the directory that we're we're currently um, using. So this is an empty R Studio project I've created just for this video. Uh, show so it um, just doesn't show any other files because there aren't any other files in the directory. If we were to start producing some charts. Uh, they, the last chart that we produced would, would appear in this plot window. This tab lists all of the, the packages that we have installed um, and we'll learn more about packages shortly. This is the, the help viewer um, where we can find out about how to use different R functions, um, what options to use, uh, tips on, on writing code. There's lots of different useful information that comes up in the help viewer uh, and we'll talk more about how to use that later on. And then the viewer uh, we probably won't be using. And then in the top right hand corner we've got these four uh, four tabs. There might only be, be three um, on your um, RStudio installation at this point. The environment lists all of the um, the current data and, and so on that we have loaded and at the moment there's nothing in there. History shows all of the commands that we've previously typed and we can search back through that if we want to find some uh, some previous command that we've run. But it's much easier to, to type code and save it in files in the top left uh, panel so that we don't have to, to worry about finding code um, later on. And then the other two um, tabs uh, we don't need to think about at the moment. So the next thing I want to do is open up the options uh, dialog box and how you get to this will vary depending on whether you're on Windows or on a Mac. Now there's loads of options in here. You can change the appearance of our studio fonts, color schemes, that sort of thing. But at the moment, the only thing I'm going to suggest that you change, you're free to change anything else you like, is to swap around the top right panel with the bottom left panel. And that's because you're not going to need things like the history and connections panels very often. So by minimizing those, we get more space for our code in the top left. So we just swap these round. And then if we close this uh, dialog box, you'll see that they've swapped round. We can now minimize the uh, what's now the bottom left panel, and that gives us more space to see our code on the top left, or indeed all of the left hand side now. And if we want to look at the environment uh, tab, all we do is click on it to, uh, to move it up, and then we can minimize it again uh, once we're finished with it. And the output of our code is going to appear in the console, uh, which is now on the right hand side. We can go back into the options uh, dialog box. Uh, there's lots of other things you can change in here. One thing you might want to change is the spell check language that's used. I've got mine set to, to UK English. 
but I'll leave you to explore the other things that can be done in the options. So that was a quick tour around our studio. There's lots more that you can learn about making the best use of this software and I'll provide some links to resources that will help you with that in the links accompanying this video.